What's up, everybody? Give it a second to pop up on screen. I promise we're actually playing Call of the Wild, not loading screen. There we go. We're on Call of the Wild. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing great. Let's get into the bear action. Hopefully, we can get our 69th great one and have it actually be the third type we want. What's up, A-Rob? Thank you for the eight months, dude. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody enjoyed the Call of the Wild video today. Because uh, we got some more Call of the Wild action happening right now with the bear hunt. Let's uh, hope the bears actually cooperate. Oh, we got a couple there. That's good. Uh, we are past their drink time, though. Oh, no. So I got to be quick with this. Let's quickly just... Uh, boop. 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 Okay. 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 And there was a fifth even. Come back here. What was what was that? He did a little slide. Oh, we hit him. Oh my gosh, we got all five. Let's go. <laughs> we got all five of them, guys. That's crazy, man. What's up, JC? <laughs> How you doing, JC? How's everybody doing? Got a random question. What's your favorite song? Uh, oh my gosh, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough because, like, my favorite song changes almost every single week due to, like, new music coming out. I, I'm super on top of, like, music that comes out in, like, the rap genre. And so, like, I'm listening to new stuff, like, every single day, pretty much. So it's tough for me to pick, like, a favorite overall song. I'd say right now, my favorite song is probably New Glock for My Ops by Scrim. Just because that's like fresh music that just came out a couple days ago. And so I've got that one on repeat right now. But if I look at my most played song ever, my most played song ever on Spotify is Shh by Yeet. I don't know if that came through the mic because I had to like, I had to go shh. You know, but it, it's literally just like S H H H H H. That is my most played song of all time. So I guess it would have to be considered my favorite, right? What's up, Kaylee? How's it going? What's up, Mason? Nice, Shannon. When I play Call of the Wild, I always listen to Al Capone old school stuff. Nice, dude. Nice. Did I get the great one yet? No, we just started the stream. We have just started up. So no great one as of now, but hopefully soon. I need to go ahead and... Okay, that's... Why didn't it place a marker? There it goes, finally. Yeah, Tony, I remember you. Why are Moose on Revlon Thule so annoying to HM? I could not even begin to tell you, man. I was really annoyed with trying to manage them as well, which is why I didn't do it. I, whenever I grinded Rev, I just did no HM. I tried to do it towards the end, but it just did not work out. So I swapped over to Leighton, and it was much faster to manage. What's up, Ender? I heard you got your great one. I saw it was a little two-tone, a little two-tone beast. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. Two-tone is probably one of the best ones you can get. I forgot to change the time. Okay, we got to do that. We got to do that. <laughs> Before it gets too much further into this. How's it going, Joe? How you doing? Oh yeah, Wu, Wu Tang's good. Uh, Daily Dimes. It's not, like the thing about it is like Wu Tang's not something I listen to super often, but I can tell you right now, I know they're good. They're one of those uh, one of those groups right where I know they're good. I just don't really listen to them on the daily because it's not really my like uh, style. Jelly Jim, thank you for the super chat. Finally got Great One Whitetail number six at 4,567 kills. That is a rough grind, man. Congrats, though. That's awesome. You love to see it, man. You love to see it. Holy bears. Three bears there, huh? Okay. That was kind of wild. 
By the way, we started today's grind at 256 kills. And so far, we've already killed eight bears in the first, like, seven minutes of stream. So only five minutes of hunting them. That's kind of crazy. We're absolutely clapping these bears left and right. Thank you, Puggetty. Appreciate it. How many kills? 264 right now. Nah, Will, you're not weird for that. Everybody's got their own preference. That's the thing about music. I will never judge anybody for their music taste because music speaks to everybody differently. Something that I might completely despise might be exactly what another person absolutely adores and loves, you know? Like, I listen to some music that a lot of people would probably be like, Ugh, what is this? I'm never going to judge anybody for their listening preferences. And plus, like, Biggie's a classic, man. Like, he's 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 one of the OGs. Can't be mad at that. Hey, Otis, what's up, dude? I've heard of NF, but he's not really my uh, he's not really my style. I'm not really drawn to any of the like lyrical rappers. I don't know, man. Not really my style. Oh, Kraken redeemed a mod pull. Oh my gosh. Well, the moderators are not here right now. Unless they're lurking. I'm assuming they're probably lurking. But, uh... Let me know what you want the poll to be then, Kraken, since, uh, since nobody's in the... Tw since none of the mods are in the Twitch chat to, uh... Choose what it is. Let me know what you want it to be. Yeah, it's a pretty good one, Hen. It's decent. I don't think it's his best song that he's ever made, but I don't mind it. Yeah, like for me, it's tough to pick a, a favorite song because like it changes all the time for me. I listen to so much different music that it changes, like, virtually every week. However, I heard that Yeet is releasing his, uh, his album this month, so I'm excited for that. Oh my gosh, if you would have kept going straight, I would have got you. But you had to turn. So rude, man. What's up, Jenna? How's it going? Hey, Kai. Hey, Anonymous. Heading to Ranger School for the Army this week. May not get my great one moose before I leave. Almost at 1k kills. Hey man, I believe in you. You got this. Just keep pressing forward. The work will pay off. You got this, man. Oz, thank you for the two months, dude. Two months as a member. Holy. Hey, Kale, how's it going? Uh, the only reason I don't do that, Hayden, is because it creates, like, jealousy amongst other viewers as well. Like, if I played with one viewer, I'd have to play with, like, all of the other viewers, or else I'd just have a bunch of angry viewers, you know? Unfortunately, it's one of those things where I just can't play with everybody, so it's best not to, like, just pick favorites amongst a few, you know? I imagine you can understand. It's a it's a tough thing. It's a tough position to be in. Um, if it really is that daily dimes, I'm all for it, man. Gavin, thank you for the 13 months, and A Rod, thank you for the super chat over on YouTube. Much appreciated. Andy, thank you for the four months, dude. Really appreciate it. My main call to the wild account has been freezing on start up recently. What would you recommend as a course of action? Ah, uh, gosh. Uh, so if you're having issues with like freezing and stuff, first thing I would do if you're on PC, verify the integrity of the files. Um, if that doesn't work, I would say your only option is really to contact support. Also, make sure all of your uh, 
what's it called? Make sure all your graphics drivers and stuff like that are up to date. Because that can affect your games as well. Yeah, I think Hunter Support's probably going to have, like, more stuff that they can help you with than what I would be able to do. I'm really only good at troubleshooting that type of stuff if it's on my own PC where I can, like, actually, like, try a bunch of different things to get it to fix itself. Do you think, do you think the Great One is coming? It could be. I mean, a Great One can pop at any time, so you never know. Uh, we have had two level fours, man. Maybe if we get like a bunch of level fours again, maybe I'll start to think there might be a great one on the map. But so far, I'm not really seeing any indications. But uh, to be fair, it's tough to even predict when you're going to get a great one. Which is a streaming platform, Silver Deer? It's actually a more popular streaming platform than uh, YouTube is. In a zone you don't want. Uh, could you imagine if there's just been one for all this time? Nice snap. Love to see it, man. Love to see it, man. Glad you got your great one. Oh, I saw something. There we go. Okay. Pop back up here now. Oz, thank you for the super chat again, dude. Sorry, Crow, haven't been to the streams in a while. Just hit my eight-month mark since my transplant. Take my money. That's awesome, dude. I'm glad that you're doing good. Glad you're doing okay. Glad you're doing good. Glad you're here. Hope you're having a fun time watching. Thank you for the super chat once again. What don't I like about this game? Uh, let me think. If there was one thing I would change... I don't know if I'd change much of, like, what's currently in it. If anything, I'd just add more. I'd say if there's one thing I could change, it's the fact that we don't have non-typicals right now. And I know what some people may be thinking, like, great ones have non-typical antlers. Sure, but that's a great one. Like, that's a that's its own thing. I'd love it if we could just get non-typical tines on the normal racks. Like, similar to what the Hunter Classic did with all of their, like, white tail, mule deer, black tail. I'd love to see that. Oh, the other thing that I changed. That's a good i that's a good uh, point you make right there, Ronnie. I would change the way multiplayer is handled. If I could change something in Call of the Wild, I'd make it so that multiplayer is on EW run servers oh, instead of peer-to-peer. -peer. Yes, oh because peer-to-peer -peer is just really unreliable and unpredictable. It's like solely based off of the internet of the person that's hosting it. If they did like EW ran servers like the angler does, we wouldn't have as many issues as we currently do. And it would also make it so people couldn't mod them. It would make it so that people couldn't bring mods into multiplayer because it would be run by EW. Therefore, like making it so they couldn't edit the server files, you know? I don't know if that's fully true. But I know for a fact it would make it tougher for people to bring stuff like that into multiplayer. Which I think would be good. I mean, if people want to mod their single player, you know, the more power to them. But if... Just keep it out of multiplayer. If they, if we could find a way to where they could change it over to EW RAN servers instead of peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, I think that would be for the better for multiplayer. I think that would really be game changing for it. Yo, Hayden, thank you for the bits. Really appreciate it. Bro, if I send you a ton of bits, can we play? I, you're not going to be able to buy playtime with me, man. That's that's not how it works, you know? Like I said, if somebody, if somebody like buys playtime with me, then everybody's going to think that they can do the same thing. I hope you know it's not anything personal, man. It's just one of those things where I've got so many people that ask me if I can play with them every single day. If I say yes to one and I say no to like 10 others, they're going to be mad that I said no to them but didn't say no to the one other person, you know? And obviously not saying that you would do this, but... If I go in, if I go into a game like and get into a call with a random person that I've never met before... I don't know what they're going to say on my live stream. I don't know what type of stuff they may say. It could be someone who has, like, you know, malintent. Obviously, I'm not saying that that's you. 
I'm just saying it's the, it's the type of whis the risks I gotta weigh whenever I uh, do this type of stuff, you know? I would eventually like to get the community more involved in like some content and stuff. It's just I gotta figure out the way to do that to where I'm not copying other people like Lady who does the uh, guided hunts. And to where like it's a fair way to do it. I've done a little bit in the past like I did drives. Where I got, I like put a public multiplayer open and let viewers join and help me like corner all the animals into a corner. And that was kind of fun. So like maybe I'll do that in the in the future. Maybe I'll do that in the future. And if I do, that would give you a chance to possibly get into it. The whisks I got away. Yeah, Cooper. I was gonna say way and risks at the same time, and it it did not turn out right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, there's our bear right there. Thank you for the bits again, Hayden. I appreciate it, man. And thank you for the understanding. But yeah, I I do want to do another like drive on Mississippi sometime, so that would be fun, man. Surprisingly, no A Rod. Holy crap, Hayden with the thousand and ten bits. Dude, you are insanely generous. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh my gosh. That is crazy generous of you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, dude. You're sensing, sensing a great one in the near future. Maybe, Coopler, maybe. If we're lucky, maybe we'll get a great one in the near future. You never know. If we do, I'm saying you called it. What's up, Austin? How you doing, man? How do bits work? So, it's essentially the same as a Super Chat, but it's like Twitch's version of it. You can purchase bits on Twitch and then give them to streamers that you watch. And it uh it, it's essentially the same as money. Like a thousand bits is about ten bucks, approximately. Give or take a couple. Holy crap, Aiden. Hayden with another eleven hundred bits. Thank you, dude. It doesn't stop there. I've been waiting or I've been watching you for years. Dude, thank you. Thank you so much. That's crazy. I really appreciate it. Yeah, absolute legend. And Isaac, thank you for the super chat as well. Holy crap, you guys are going crazy. You guys are absolutely going buck wild, man. Absolutely crazy. But I hear a bear. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 hey. Sit. Good boy. Okay. Wait, there's another. You sit as well, sir. Okay. <laughs> that was interesting. That was very interesting. Any diamonds yet? No, no diamonds yet. We just started up. Raid, thank you for the membership, dude. Welcome back. What's up, Brox World? Should you do a bear grind? If it's something you think you would enjoy, Brayden, then yes, I, I would recommend recommend doing one. However, I, I would say watch I Buy Premium's guide first because he kind of details how to get started on the bear grind and how to do it in a way that's uh, better than what I ended up doing. <laughs> I'd recommend checking out his guide before you start. Why is there very little green in chat? I don't know. We have almost 500 members. I guess they're just not on at the moment. Oh, we got a couple of little fellers. A four and a six. Nothing super massive so far. Brox World, thank you for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much, man. I predict within the next one to three streams, the Great One will spawn. It will be a fabled glacier. Who you think glacier, eh? Maybe. That would be my luck, because I'm going for the fabled chestnut. Or the Fabled Cream. Like, those are the two that I'd like to get. 
Just because, I mean, it's our 69th great one. The joke writes itself. I don't need to explain any further, but I'd like to get one of those two just because I think it would be hilarious. But knowing my luck, it's probably going to be a glacier. Thank you, Slice. If I appreciate it, man. Doing the same grind, have not gotten a diamond in 200 ish kills. So bored. Yeah, it can be rough, man. That's the thing about the bear grind, especially early on. When you're either early on in the bear grind, or if you're not doing herd management, you can go hundreds of kills between diamonds. It can be kind of crazy. It can be kind of wild just how long you have to wait. Dude, I was so I was focusing so hard on reading chat that I just messed up like everything there. I, I disconnected my scope, then I started scrolling. Man. Jeez, Junior, that's rough, man. That's really rough. Yeah, A Rod, I think it'd be hilarious. I think it'd be absolutely hilarious. I shouldn't have a limit set, Hayden. I, I don't think there would be any... I don't think I would ever set a limit. No, I, I definitely... I don't think I'm allowed to set a limit to how many bits uh, somebody can donate. It might be... Um, it might have said that you've reached your limit because I, I don't think there's a way to set a limit on Twitch. down time maybe I don't think so there there shouldn't be any limitations because uh there's been a couple people that have sent like five or six thousand in in one go before so I I don't think it should be limiting you unless it's just bugging out how many white tail great ones I think I have 32 or 33 uh one of those numbers either 32 or 33 I've lost count at this point it's by far the great one I've got the most of you should hunt with some other streamers. At some point, I definitely will. Just a matter of, like, you know, planning that stuff out. What's my favorite great one? The moose. Definitely the moose. I, I'm not sure, Hayden. I'm not sure. Is it possible that maybe you ran out of bits? Because I know with Twitch you have to purchase the bits and then you have to send them after. Um, so I, I don't know. Maybe that's the problem. Not sure. When you're done with your run, do you exit the game and then close out? Or how do you do it? It depends. Usually what I'll do, and this is strictly for bears only. I'm not going to speak for the other grinds because I do it differently for them. But for bears, a lot of times I will play until the end of their uh, drink time and then I'll reset the time to like 2230 and then main menu but I have your chat spam green and we can see who gets it oh okay you heard Austin type the word green in chat and he might he might give a little bit of he might give a little bit of, a little bit of prizes to the chat we'll see who gets it we'll see who's lucky enough and this is for YouTube, by the way, because I see some people on Twitch spamming it as well. What's up, Cooper? <laughs> How you doing? I might need to reset again. Holy smokes. That is the most green I've ever seen in chat. <laughs> oh, how's it going, man? But you can't pick on YouTube? Yeah, but you never know. Somebody might get it. Austin with the 20 gifted memberships. Holy crap. Oh, I see why you did that, Austin. To make me have to sift through all of the spam to find the uh, people that actually got it. <laughs> XYZ Gaming. Uh, Clay Bass 712. We got... Oh, gosh. It's just zooming. It's zooming. I can't even keep track of it. Oh my gosh. Okay, congrats to the 20 people that got gifted memberships. So I can't even keep up with it. <laughs> it's just zooming by. I, it's going to be gone before I even get a chance to look at it. <laughs> oh, man. 
<laughs> All right, that's enough green, everybody. That's enough spamming the word green. <laughs> that was wild. I literally couldn't even see who got them because it all just like zoomed by so quickly. <laughs> that is hilarious. TG got one. Holy crap, Austin, another 20. Oh my gosh. Austin with another 20 gifted. Dude, that's insane. Thank you. My gosh. I'll try to read off as many of the names as I see them. Austin, Liam, uh, Wild Bill. I think that said Megatron. Yeah, it did. It said Megatron. Logan. Uh, and who else? We got Bass. We got, oh gosh, it's going so fast. Alexi, Mr. Squirrel. Uh, can't read your name, but congrats for the, yeah, uh, Callum, Cayman, holy crap, and a bunch of other people as well. Congrats for getting all of those gifted, and Austin, thank you once again. Why are the bears fleeing? No. Bro. These stupid bears. They think they're, they think they're cool running away. Did I get them both? Yes, I got them both. Let's go. That was pure luck. Pure luck. Mountain lions? Yeah, definitely mountain lions. As always, piebald bears would look cool if they were a thing. I agree. Thank you once again, Austin. That's super generous, man. All right, enough green. Congrats to everyone who got it. For real, man. Congrats to everybody that got those gifted memberships. Massive thank you to Austin once again. Everybody in chat say thank you to Austin. That is super generous. How to get more male bears to spawn. You cannot make more of them spawn. You just have to find where your males are. But there's no way to make more of them spawn. How about I reset for red deer? I main menu after every single run for Red Deer. Oh, really, Cooper? I did not. I did not hear about that, no. Yes, I did, Coopler. I did. But I'm assuming that uh, because Nate is streaming, I probably won't see as many of them popping in. Boom. What's my favorite super rare in the game? Um, of ones that I don't have, I would say the Lucistic Rusadir. Um, I don't think it makes the respawns spawn in, Caden, but what it does is it makes them not spooked anymore. And this is why I don't do it for bears. Like, bears are all solo, so they're not going to be spooked when they respawn. But for, like, whitetail or red deer, if I shoot a couple stags out of their group, and then I don't go to the main menu, they're just going to be spooked for, like, 20 minutes. Like, they're, they're going to be nervous for quite a while, therefore not coming back to their zones. But if I main menu, it kind of like resets that spooked phase, and they end up coming back quicker. Which is why I do it for stuff like Whitetail, Fallow, Red Deer, but I don't do it for Bears because they're solos and it's not really necessary. That was awful. That was really awful. That was terrible. I only got three. What am I doing? And like one of them wasn't even a good shot. Holy crap. I got to scroll up and catch that super chat. Uh, Bear, thank you for the super chat. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing very good. Just been uh, doing a little bit editing today. Uh, messing around on Way of the Hunter a bit. And now we're here on Call of the Wild.
No, Airsoft, I've never met him. What's my favorite Great One rack and fur type? Favorite Great One rack? Out of every single thing in the game, probably the typical rack whitetail antlers. I really like that rack. Um, fur type, probably Fabled Birch Moose. It's just insanely beautiful. Ah, uh, Bear, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it once again. Holy crap. Which leg did you shoot your Fabled Spotted? Wait. Leg. Wait, did I shoot a Fabled Spotted in the leg? I don't even remember. I'm not sure if I did. Liam, you don't need to spam the same thing so much, man. I'm happy for you. Happy you're doing good, but you don't need to spam. Uh, Connor, thank you for the super sticker, dude. And BNT Gaming, thank you for the super chat as well. I have a multi-mount of diamonds and pie balls. Nice. That's awesome, man. Rare mounts always look really good. Always looks really, really good. RIP Cooper. Feels bad. <laughs> I don't know, Daily Dimes. I hope so. I'd like to get a typical rack at some point. Uh, yeah, Nuggets. We have two cats and a dog. Uh, Bear, thank you for the super chat once again. I meant which lake did you shoot your fabled spotted? Oh, got you. Lake, not leg. Gotcha. This lake, actually. It was this one right here. Right near Cougar Watch. Hey, dear. It, it walked, like, in this area. How many current kills? Um, 288 currently. I had to look down for a second and see exactly. Uh, yeah, Kaylee. I think it was my second one, if I'm not mistaken. I think my second one was the Fabled Spotted. I got the Cream, then the Spotted, then a Glacier, then the other Glacier, and then another Fabled Cream. Aggressive, what are you doing? Okay, bro. Attack, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? I zero to 300 and everything. Holy crap, dude. The super chats are flying in so quick I can't even keep up. Give me a couple seconds to shoot this bear. And then I'll, uh... Then I'll read them off, guys. Oh my gosh. Connor, thank you for another super sticker. Doan, thank you for a super chat. Psst, I'm one diamond away from 100 diamonds in the angler. What should 100 be? I was thinking about trying for another bream and hating myself. <laughs> How about... Well, since they teased new fish in the Angler Discord, why not just wait for the update to drop? Like, try not to catch any diamonds until then. <laughs> I don't even know when the update's going to be, so that might be a, kind of a tough challenge, but we'll see. Holy crap, man. Zachy, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Isaac, thank you for the super chat. Got my great one bear. Grind herd management OP. I had a nine every seven to eight kills. That's insane, dude. That's crazy. And Chicken Strips, thank you for the super chat. My gosh, guys. How you doing? Keep up the good vids. I'd love to see more Trophy Lodge vids. I actually do need to do a Trophy Lodge tour of my main lodge. Like, not my Great One and Super Lodge, but the other lodge. Because uh, I got a bunch of stuff in there that I need to show off as well. So you can't get a diamond on Tuesday. Exactly, Doan. That's your challenge. Don't catch a diamond until there's new fish in the game. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I think Zacky came through with the biggest one ever, Cooper. For real, for real. No cap. So much is happening for sure, Jen. I can't even keep up with it. Uh, Didier Hunter 44 thank you so much for the membership. Welcome back. Welcome back. With the two months. How do you start a red deer grind? Uh, same as any grind. You find the zones on your map. And start hunting them. Oh um, if you want to, if you want to know more details on red deer, I would recommend checking out my red deer guide that I've got. 
just go to either my guides playlist or my herd management guides playlist. That's where all of my guide content is. And I've got guides for a lot of the animals you see me hunt on the channel. I've been good, man. I've been good. Let me, uh, King Brooksy. I've been good. Sorry. It's the like dark blue names on dark mode for Twitch chat. They like blur and blend in so much that it's tough to see what it says immediately. So I have to like look really close. Also guys, I decided to get like a, um, what's it called? It's like a little portable monitor that I can hook up to my PC. And I'm just going to put all my chats on the portable monitor to make it much easier. Hey, legendary. Guaranteed as well. To make it much easier to, to read my chats. So I'll have like a monitor dedicated to all the chats, which will help out quite a bit. Because I'll be able to like make the chats bigger and actually be able to see everything a bit more. I figure since we're doing a lot of multi-streaming recently with like doing Twitch and YouTube at the same time and potentially more in the future, I figured it was necessary to upgrade the setup a little bit and get a, a smaller third monitor so that I can keep the chats like all in one spot like right in front of me. Will I be live tomorrow? What is tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow's Monday so I will be live. What's up, Big Buck Bobby? How's it going? DTH, how's it going, dude? Oh, crap! I forgot that was a diamond that we were claiming. Uh, where is it? Hunting log. Latest harvests. Ah, it was a 23.95. That's pretty big. He made it. 23.95. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I was, like, so focused on reading chat, I just completely glazed over him. What gun am I using? I'm using the 300 Magnum. Have I ever killed a super rare mule deer? Nope, I have not. I had a chance to, but uh, somebody else found it before I did. I almost got one once, but missed out on it. Ah, uh, because I forgot that I even shot a diamond, Cooper. <laughs> I forgot I even shot a diamond. Because I was, like, so focused on reading chat. And this is why sometimes I miss chat messages. Because uh, if I don't focus on the game, I, I do stuff like what I just did. There we go. Two down. Nice. 295 kills on the grind. Approaching 300. Hopefully this grind won't end up being like a 5,000 kill grind. That would suck. That would really suck. Hopefully we can make this like a four or 500 kill grind. That'd be nice. How do you switch males with females for bears? Really, the only way is just shoot males and females until the females go to areas that you want them to go to. That's really all there is to it. You just keep shooting them until they go to the places you want them to. Like, I used to have a bunch of females here, and I just kept shooting them until they went to, like, uh, like these lakes down here and, like, these lakes over here, you know? That's really all you can do is just shoot them until they go where you want them to. Holy crap, Oz, thank you for a super chat again. Currently setting up my first whitetail great one grind. Watch my first one be a typical wreck. I swear to God if it is. I'll be happy for you, but sad at the same time. Foxy, thank you for the super chat as well. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Should I do a race to see if I get my third fallow or my first bear? Ooh. Might as well. And I, I'm going to I'm gonna make a prediction. I think you'll get your bear first. I think you're going to get your first bear. I know it's a bold prediction. Bears are tough, but that's my prediction. I think you'll get the bear. All right, two more down. 297. That's a rare female? No, it's not. It's not. That's just how the dusky looks for the female bears. Oh, but this is a rare? What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this is a rare, though? <laughs> the 
The female bear we just looked at uh, a couple eggs ago wasn't a rare, but this is a rare. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. We got a blonde. Level 5 blonde, let's go. I didn't even realize it was a rare. I just popped it and moved along. <laughs> that's crazy. That's hilarious though. That is hilarious. A level 5 blonde. Look at the way he's looking at us. He's like, bro, how did you not know I was rare? What? That's crazy. That's crazy. What a nice surprise. A nice little rare. That's our first rare of the grind as well. 297 kills in. Gold Gamer, thank you for the bits, dude. Much appreciated. Had two level 5 fallow in the same zone. One was piebald. Both trolled. Ooh, that's like the... That's like the definition of bittersweet. That's like the definition of bittersweet. Two fives, both trolled, but one was a piebald, so it's like... It's still pretty sick, but also sad that it didn't make it because it could have been a super rare. Literally like the definition of bittersweet. That's wild. What time will I stream tomorrow? I do not know. I'm not sure. I'll... I'll note by tomorrow. But right now, I'm not 100% sure because I don't know what I'm going to be needing to do tomorrow. Um, I got early access to the new Way of the Hunter map, Sam. Um, not Call of the Wild, if that's what you're saying. And for the Way of the Hunter one, I can't talk about it until I release my first video. Which will be on the 6th, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be a banger. Foxy, thank you for the super chat. I hope so. Watch me end up with three mocha blades. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'd take three mocha blades. Best uh, best combo in the game. Just saying. Thank you for the super chat once again. There we go. That is our 300th kill over here. It's your favorite combo? It is a really good combo, Aiden. I love it. What about Mocha Typical? Mocha Typical is beautiful. That's probably my second favorite. I, if I were to, like, just take a guess without actually having got one yet, I, I'd imagine it's probably going to be my best. New Way of the Hunter map and Tackle Tuesday, same stream. A great day indeed. Ooh, yeah, you're right. I forgot that is Tackle Tuesday. Oh, man. Well, we'll see how that goes. Okay, let's see. <laughs> you timed those bits so perfectly with this bear popping into render, so it seemed... <laughs> it felt like that was the sound of the bear spawning in. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Appleface. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing amazing. That timing was fantastic. <laughs> Oh, man. Hooded Spoon is the best, and you cannot convince me otherwise because I'm covering my ears and saying la 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 la. Wow, Doan, okay. Don't even want to hear the truth. I see you. Hey, man, it's okay. Like, you can... You can be wrong. It's okay to be wrong, man. I'm not going to judge you for being wrong. We all do it sometimes, but, you know. Mocha Blade on top, clearly. Who do I think is the goat of Call of the Wild? I mean, obviously I'm not going to include myself in this discussion because that would just seem very rude to include myself. Honestly, probably Flinter, man. I mean, I got to say Flinter is the goat of Call of the Wild because he was he was like the one of the first big Call of the Wild creators. And I mean, everybody knows him. Everybody knows who Flinter is. Like, he was one of the first people to really, like, do Call of the Wild content, and he's never stopped. He's continued to do it, like, virtually every day. So, I, I think there's not even, like, a... There's no discussion there. Like, he is what I would consider to be the goat of Call of the Wild. 
Because Flinter's been at it for so long and everybody knows who he is. And I think also people misconstrue like what that would even mean, right? Like people misconstrue what GOAT means. You don't have to have the most great ones to be the GOAT. You don't have to like have the most hours put into the game. It's about like your impact on like the community. And nobody has more impact than Flinter. He is like the start of so many things in this game that we know today. Like he was probably the first person to really put out content on grinding. Flinter discovered so many things about the game through the content that he made. And so many people have watched him for years. Like, really don't even think it's a like it's any discussion. I think he's got to be, he's got to be the goat of Call of the Wild. I wouldn't even put myself in the same category because I I got into Call of the Wild content like a few years later. There we go. Nice, Trig. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome, man. He kind of started HM2. True. Him and Jaxie did discover the first, like, form of herd management as well. For real, James. For real. Thank you, Coopler. Appreciate it. <laughs> What's my favorite great one besides the two-tone moose? Uh, probably my fabled mocha blade rack fallow. Hey, Copper, you didn't miss uh, too much aside from one diamond and a blonde bear. Oh, great ones, though. Or anything like that. I love how I got so used to saying... Uh, you didn't miss much that at this point, like, even when someone did miss much, I still say you didn't miss much just by habit. Oh, man. Stupid tent keeps getting knocked down by these bears. Hop down here real quick. Hey, Hunter, how's it going, man? Welcome to the channel. Gonna go grab some powdered donuts. Yes, I'm only going to grab them and not eat Wow, Cooper, that's just like... <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> hey, Isaac, how's it going? Uh, you missed a diamond and a blonde level five. No, it's a YouTube bug, G-Man. There's not 669 watching. Sometimes when there's lag spikes, the numbers, like, fluctuate until the lag spike is done. It's a it's a known issue with YouTube. I think the reasoning is because it's, like, having issues, like, sending packets and stuff. And so it glitches out for a second. Uh, we've got, like, 482 at the moment, which is still incredible. You guys are super amazing. I appreciate all of you. Personal opinion, but if you're looking for genuinely good, honest person, doesn't try to push his opinions on other Flinter for real, the goat. Oh yeah, that's the, that's one of the things that I love about uh, about Flinter, right? Is it, no matter how much he disagrees with someone, he's not going to tell you you're wrong. He's not going to tell you you're a bad person. He'll let you know that he disagrees, but he's not going to completely like dog on you for disagreeing with him. And that is something I can really appreciate, you know? Five hundredth kill was a diamond. Do you imagine five hundred kills in we get another diamond? If I get a diamond at five hundred kills, you predicted it. How many hours do I have in Call of the Wild? Uh, between my main account here and all of my challenge accounts for like a great one before level 60, beginner series, etc. I've got definitely over 7,000. 
About 6,500 on just this account alone, though. Nice, we got all four. What's my favorite gun? My favorite gun is probably the 308 AR. It's just such an amazing rifle. Got my first great one. It was a fabled silver fallow after over 100 hours of setup and a thousand kills. You got it. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. Love to see it, man. You think it's another Asian map being added? Well, we currently don't have an Asian map in the game, so it wouldn't be another one. Um, do I think it'll be the first Asia map? I think there's a strong chance that it could be provided that little uh, That little like clue that popped up on the survey is like true like if it is something that actually was a clue Then I'd say it is possible that that's what we get for the next one It's hard to say though because I mean uh, from what I was being told they removed it after a while So I don't even know if it was a hint Jaxie said it wasn't a hint. Oh, got you. Okay, good to know. Good to know that that wasn't a hint. It sure felt like one, man. The way it just popped up in there really made it feel like one. But, I mean, if they say it's not, then I guess it's not. Yeah, Ajav, they're really nice. They they look really good. Whitetail has probably been my most fun grind I've ever done. I mean, there's a reason I've been able to go for over 30 of them. I really like the Whitetail a lot. I think it is the most enjoyable great one to hunt. Aside from maybe Fallow. Fallow actually is pretty enjoyable. What's up, uh, Snake Drifter? How's it going? Where's the last one of these right here? Come on, pupper, show me the way. Show me the way of the bear today. There it is. Thank you, Hunter. Appreciate it, man. Well, I gotta scroll up in chat and actually read more of what you guys said. Medved's in Asia. I thought it was in Russia. I mean, maybe Asia's part of Russia. I, I could be wrong. I, I, but it it is like... Uh, Medved is based in Russia. They said it isn't, but it probably is. Maybe. Well, let me scroll up to your first comment, uh, Jack, so I can get the full context of it. Or was there no previous message? Maybe there wasn't. Oh, well, either way. I still hope we get an Asia map. Even if they say that wasn't a clue, I still hope that we get... An Asia map. Three hundred and thirteen kills, by the way, for those curious. Isaac, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Why do bears stay so long before they spook? Ah, uh, because they're bugged. Bears have been bugged for probably like five updates now. Where they used to, like, whenever they'd hear a gunshot, they'd stand on their back legs and then run away. But for some reason, like, instead of standing on their back legs, they just kind of stand there. And then, like, immediately shoot up really fast onto their back legs. Causing it to, like, take them a long time to run away. One of the few bugs in game that I am very happy they haven't fixed because it makes bear hunting so much easier.
Nothing there. Alright, back up here we go. What do I want the next great one to be? I would love for it to be either an elk or a mule deer. I mean, there's a lot of other options I would take as well, but elk, mule deer, that's like my top two right now, probably. It'd be tough to top that. Like, they're just so cool. What great one should you go for? How about a fallow, Daniel? Hope they never fix the stand-up glitch. Same. It's one of the few glitches that I absolutely love in this game. <laughs> Without it, bears would be twice as difficult to, like, kill a ton of. Like, I'd probably kill, like, 20 less bears per run if they didn't have that stand-up glitch. But it's a double-edged sword, because if you want to stock up close to something and take, like, a bow shot, it can be quite risky to even attempt that. A level 2. A freaking level 2. Are you joking? A level 2? Oh, he moved. A level 2 of all things, man. Come on. Later, Hunter. Thank you for stopping in, man. Have a good sleep. Poor little baby level two. So small. It's a small feller. Very low bleed rate. Ouch. Well, he's not going to die anytime soon, man. Later, Hunter Watson. Thank you for dropping in. He's trying his best to leave the bear alone. I know, but he's just so level two, you know? Uh, yes, this is an HM grind, uh, Billy Bob. Yeah, wolves are quite insanely bugged in multiplayer, especially. What's the drink time for bears? 20 to 24, or 20 to 0, technically. 20 to 0 is the time for them. Um, it really depends on how you've got the map managed, uh, Tucker, but I personally shoot everything on the main lakes. Like, my main grinding lakes, I shoot every single male. Yo, what's up, Caitlin? How's it going? How you doing? I am not bugged in multiplayer, I promise. The bears are cooperating like crazy tonight. Like, they are popping up their zones so fast. They're being good little berries. Good little berries. Now if they just move their legs faster. Thank you. Oh, Caitlin. I was telling Chad earlier that uh, I decided to get like a mini monitor. Like uh, you can get these like small monitors. They're like called, I think they're called like portable monitors where they're like about 14, 15 inches and you just plug them into your PC via USB or HDMI, depending on what you want to do. And I've decided that I'm going to get that because I want to like have it dedicated to all my chats from different streaming platforms. That way it's easier to just like look right in front of me, see all my chats and not have to like worry about looking to the side and trying to fit all the chats into the monitor with the streaming software and all the other stuff on there. It, it hopefully will make it easier for me to like read everything or not everything. Obviously that's impossible, but read the majority of stuff in chat. I figured it was on sale, so why not? Boom. 321 kills.
Yeah, I'll let you know how it is, Caitlin. I'll let you know if it uh, if it's worth it. Because I think the one I got was only like 80 bucks or something. Like, it was a pretty cheap uh, mini monitor. Uh, mainly because it was on sale. I think normally it's like 140 or something. But it was on sale for like 80 So I figured, screw it. I'll try it, see how it is. With Amazon's return policies, if it ends up being trash, I can always return it. But I'm hoping it will make it easier to like uh, see all the chat messages. Because if I have a monitor that's just dedicated to chat only, it definitely should make it easier. What was my first great one? My first great one was a whitetail off of Rancho. What do you think about a bamboo forest map? Uh, man. Would they even do something like that, though? Because, like... I don't know. I mean, it would be cool. Don't get me wrong. It'd be cool. I don't know if they do, like, bamboo forest, though. Because, like, I think if they did bamboo forest, wouldn't that, like, uh, imply that they would have stuff like pandas? And I'm pretty sure it'd be illegal to hunt pandas. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think that's illegal. I don't think... I don't think many people would hunt in a bamboo forest. I could be wrong there. I could be wrong. Obviously, I don't know everything about every aspect of hunting across the world. So maybe I'm uh, missing something, but... I just don't feel like that's too realistic. Holy crap, Caleb, I knew it. I knew there'd be some legend out there that has got a great one every single kill of their hunts. Uh, yeah, Chad, they do. They do reduce the hunting pressure. Did I post a mule deer vid today? Wait, what mule deer vid? Um, I haven't posted a mule deer video for a little bit. Or are you talking about how, like, uh, I started by hunting mule deer in today's video? Today's video had, like, an elk on the thumbnail. But, like, I started the hunt by shooting mule deer, so maybe you're talking about that. If that's the case, yes, that was posted today. Oh, Caitlin, you also missed a level 5 blonde bear. We got a blonde bear and I didn't even realize it was a rare. Until I got up to it. Yeah, the way of the hunter vid was yesterday, uh, Willie. I posted one today at like 2 p.m. PST, like four hours ago. Oh, oh, you're saying he might be referencing the mule deer video from Way of the Hunter? Got you. Um, if that's what you're talking about, I posted that like what, four or five days ago, something like that. It was a few videos ago. But is it an illegal to hunt lions? No, it's not. It's not illegal to hunt lions, and believe it or not, it's not illegal to hunt elephants either. There's a lot of misconceptions with, like, African game animals. Believe it or not, like, a lot of those things that people assume are illegal to hunt are actually legal to hunt. But most of them are just quite expensive to hunt. Like, believe it or not, elephants are actually hunted as part of conservation. They hunt them to make it so they don't, like, harm the younger males. Like, a lot of times they'll... When it comes to elephant hunts, it's very, like... They're very controlled hunts. Like, you're going out there with a guide. They're picking the elephant that you're shooting. And it's usually a very old bull that is causing a lot of problems and trouble for the younger bulls. Because, like, those older bulls, they're no longer breeding, right? So, they're just out there being aggressive towards the younger ones, sometimes even killing them and just causing a lot of issues. So, it's actually better to kill them off than it is to let them live. And so, like, rich guys can purchase tickets, or not tickets, obviously, purchase the tags to be able to actually hunt them. They auction them off to rich people 
to uh, to go on elephant hunts. And it's actually it's actually quite good for the elephant populations, believe it or not. Despite what, you know, the media would tell you and stuff. <laughs> The bear's there. What's up, Nate? How you doing? How you doing? Ah, uh, yes, we've got one diamond tonight. One diamond. Normally, your hunts for a in Africa, for especially for lions and elephants, are conservation for crop damage or village harm. And all of the, that harvest and money goes to the village. Yeah, that as well. And I think I've heard people say that that's also what they do for tigers. Uh, like, apparently you can hunt tigers in parts of the world, but it is like the same thing. Like, it's one of those things where if a tiger is like wreaking havoc, havoc on a village, then they will hunt it. Like, that's the only time where you can really hunt them. But because there's poachers out in the world, like, elephant hunting and tiger hunting and, and lion hunting and things like that gets such a bad rap when it really doesn't deserve it because all the, like, actual hunts for them are done for very good reasons. It's quite unfortunate, like, the, uh, the stigma around it. It's going good, Funky. It's going good. We got a blonde bear and a diamond bear so far. Oh, you did see it, Caitlin? Gotcha. I had to scroll up because, like, I, I, I've been doing that thing today where I ask questions and then I forget to look at chat for the answer. So I have to, like, stop and scroll up. I've had to do it, like, four times during the stream already. <laughs> Venus, thank you for the 12 months. Much appreciated. 12 months as a member. Holy crap. Hit the year mark. Let's go, dude. Let's go. No, Dagos. It was not. I did not post the Mule Deer video today. That was like three or four days ago. Three, four, five, somewhere in that range. Um, When you click on the video, it'll tell you the actual like day that it was posted. All right, well, somebody in the Twitch chat, let uh, let Sir Wyatt know that I said hi back since he doesn't have the audio turned on. Let him know I said hello back. So, Nate, how'd your stream go? Hopefully it went well. Oh, nice, Bray, nice. Have you missed anything good? A blonde level 5 bear and one diamond that was like 0 .05 off max score. What's up, Blue? How's it going? It was just a video premiere. Oh, got you. I got the notification saying that you were live. <laughs> I guess I just didn't read close enough as to what it was. I saw the like little like red dot thing and I was like, oh, he's live. Big Rig is live, but apparently Big Rig wasn't live. Wow, sad man. Leading me on. I see how it is. Nate, we need to play some Tarkov or something soon. We've been talking about it for like almost two weeks now and haven't done it. We need to do something. Can I do Red Deer Great One next? It's possible. I will have to do Red Deer soon. If I want to pull off the crazy feat of getting four different Great Ones on four different maps and then shooting them all back to back to back to back. 
If I want to accomplish that, I'm going to have to go for red deer. So that's going to be something we're going to attempt soon. I don't know if we're going to start with just get it going straight to like getting four of them or if I'm going to start with three. I think I'm going to start with three. I think I'm going to try to get three different great ones on three different maps first and then hunt them all. And then if we can complete that successfully, then I'll go for four of them. It's going to be tough though, man. It's going to be real tough. Golf, it was super fun, Jenna. Like, those streams are probably some of my favorite. No matter how disastrous they sometimes end up. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I could probably do that, Nate. I could probably. It depends on the time, though. What time were you thinking? What time were you thinking, man? Doing the same grind, I consistently get 14 to 16 bears every round. Most are six and above, but I have... One level four male. Is he that big of a deal? Been in the rotation the last six times. No, that's not a big deal, uh, Brian. The thing about bears, is it's really hard to get them managed down to the same extent you would like whitetail or fallow deer or red deer. And like even I get level fours quite often. As long as you're getting a diamond like every 30 kills or 20 kills or like at least every 30 kills or less then you know that your herd management is in a pretty good place for the uh, bears. I wouldn't worry too much about a four popping up here or there. I mean, in this stream alone, I've had like five or six level fours and a level two. And sometimes you'll just go on bad streaks as well where like you'll be getting a lot of small ones. What map am I on? SRP? Yes, this is SRP. Yeah, no problem, Brian. I hope that helped. All right, later, Austin. Thank you for dropping in, man. I really appreciate all of the gifteds once again. Super generous of you, as always. Appreciate you. I hope you have a great, great evening. You should stack great ones. It's not really my thing unless I'm doing it for like some kind of video. Most of the time I like to shoot them the second they spawn to keep that adrenaline rush going as I'm taking the shot. The only time I'll ever stack is if I'm doing a video like I shot three great ones and three kills or something like that, you know? What's up, Slippy Slide? How's it going? How often should you be getting Diamond Whitetail with HM? Like, currently for me, I'm getting them every 15 to 20 kills, but as long as you're getting it every 30 kills or lower, then you're in a good place. But if you really want to take it to the max, try to get it to where you're getting them every 15 kills. That re that's going to require a lot of time, a lot of managing down. And if you feel like you're not getting diamonds as often as you should be, it's likely you're missing some zones and need to go find them and manage them down. Third spirit. <laughs> True. <laughs> I still can't believe you've had three spirit bears and I haven't even seen one yet. Caitlin, that's insane. That's just ridiculous, man. My second favorite fur type and it's one of the two that I have yet to even see. I, I still don't have my two favorite ones, man. How does that even happen? I have every fur type except my two favorites. Thanks, Call of the Wild. I didn't want my favorite fur types anyway. Watch this be like the impossible to get diamond level 8 and I just butchered it. That'd be hilarious. That's how Call of the Wild treats you. True. True. For me, like, my luck in Call of the Wild is very, like, it's a very love-hate relationship, right? Like, I get really good luck. 
with like my lengths of my grinds. I get a lot of short grinds. But I never get the combos or fur types that I want. I never get the ones that I want until super late. What's up, fish man? 22, 28. Man, oh man. I should probably go down here. We can't have nice things, true. We can't. Just waiting to spawn in his 69th. Yep, just waiting to press the button. Real, real good. For real, for real. No cap, man. We be pressing buttons to spawn great ones. Hello, little five. Thank you for your sacrifice towards the next great one. <laughs> nice, Cooper. Nice. Love to see it. The timing. Fantastic. <laughs> nice, Arsenal Gunner. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. Nothing. Wow. They're hiding from me. You feel a seven? No. S stop right there, Nate. Don't jinx me like that. No. Stop it. We're not going to be jinxing me with a 7,500 kill grind. That's not fair. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's essentially just like redeeming a timeout for yourself, FMC. That, that's essentially what it does. I don't even know why people do it, man. I just selected it as an option because I thought it'd be funny. And so many people select to time themselves out. It's crazy. Well, that's a mythical at least. No, not 14k kills. Stop it. It's like you guys want me to despise every second of this bear grind. Wishing a 14k kill grind on me. Come on, man. I wouldn't wish that on any of you. I hope all of you get your great ones in under 500 kills. Unless you want it to be a long grind. Then, then I hope that it's as long as you wanted it to be. Getting a lot of small males. James, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. How nice of you. I'm just saying, man. I want everybody to have short grinds. Pleasant grinds that don't make you want to quit forever. What's up, Vikings? Hey, legendary, why are you clear over there? Why are you still walking to your zone? I think he's far enough away to where I can shoot these two and not spook him. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. James, thank you for another super chat, dude. What should the diamond rate be for Fallow using HM? I've got mine to 15, but if you can get it under 30, then it's good. That That's pretty much the same for all HM. If you get it to where you're getting a diamond every 30 kills or less, then you're at least in a pretty good point. You're at least at a pretty good point in your grind. There we go. Smoked him. 345 kills into the grind now. I got you, FMC. I got you.
Also, uh, somebody re redeemed a moderator poll. So who would like to select? Actually, there's two moderator polls redeemed because uh, Kraken redeemed his too, and I forgot about it. No, what am I doing with my life? How could I forget? Oh gosh, I'm a terrible streamer. I completely forgot about that. Um. Okay, so Caitlin or Nate, choose the poll for Twitch. Choose what poll we're putting up on Twitch right now. What are we going to do? Let me know what you guys think. What should the poll be? It's Nate's turn? Okay. Select it, Nate. Let me know what you want it to be in the chat, and then I'll, I'll pop it in there. Oh, Willie redeemed a timeout as well. Hold up. I got you. There you go. 2288. It barely made it, but that is our second diamond of the day. Love to see it, man. Two diamonds and one rare on the stream. Gotta make this good. <laughs> oh, no. And remember, the poll can be literally anything. Make it as wacky and weird as you want. It's a mod poll, so you moderators get to choose what that poll is. <laughs> you guys decide my fate. I cannot promise I'll fulfill anything that's on the poll, though, since I'm not the one selecting it. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm scared. Anything within reason, Nate. Like, obviously nothing too inappropriate, and yeah, you, you, you know the boundaries. I don't even know, Gaming Kiwi. The dogs in this game are interesting. <laughs> oh, I don't think you can do that, Nate. I don't think you can do that. Uh, even Twitch has limitations. Even Twitch has limitations on what you can do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't think that's something I can put in there. I don't want to toe the line with the terms of service. <laughs> oh, and I missed the super chat. Uh, James, thank you for the super chat. I'm 725 kills in, have 10 diamonds, but shot 12 trolls. Dude, that's a lot of trolls. Ouch. Yeah, at that point, that's just bad luck. That's rough, man. Thank you for the super chat once again. I don't know, Johnny. I don't even know. Uh, Nate being Nate? I, I guess. I mean, we're super close to Tackle Tuesday, Nate. That could give you an idea for a poll. Remember, you can choose, like, anything for the poll. You could, like... You could even, like, see what people want us to fish for on Tackle Tuesday. You could maybe see, like, what fish I would be if I was a fish. Like, there's... The possibilities are endless. Why is there more tracks here? Oh, small male. Hmm. Didn't see him. Nicer, nice. Doan's back. What's poppin' Doan? Man, we haven't gone over here in a while. I should probably check them. What's my biggest five on Way of the Hunter? Holy crap. I haven't even looked at like most of mine in a long time. I'd have to go look. I'd have to go look and see. Next time I pop on Way of the Hunter, I'll, I'll find it. Okay, those are all the fours that are normally there. Who's a better hacker, Crow or I buy? Okay, that's, that's a good one. I like that one. Okay, I'll do that one, Nate. I 
I mean, we know who's going to win this. But sure, I'll do that. I'll do that. There we go. There's the poll. <laughs> if you guys want to vote in the poll, head over to Twitch and do it because this is a Twitch poll. Got my dream combo, Fallow and 200 kills, Fabled Painted, Sawrack. Let's go, Daniel. That's awesome. Do it on YouTube too? Ah, oh, gosh, I can do it on, I guess. I guess I can do it on YouTube. I guess I can do it on there too. Fine, YouTube gets the pull as well. There you go, guys. It's only going to be up for a couple of minutes, so. After two minutes, I'm taking it down. Oh my gosh, Raid. <laughs> Yikes. What? Bro. This game sometimes with tents just drives me crazy. <laughs> These tents absolutely... Oh, they drive me crazy. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. hilarious <laughs> i know right that's what i was thinking when i read it is a cinnamon brown bear rare uh not for brown bear the only rare cinnamon bear is the black bear if you get a cinnamon black bear that's rare but not for the brown bear man this is quite the difference between youtube and twitch the twitch poll says 74 percent i buy the youtube poll says 53 percent scarecrow <laughs> Oh man, that is quite the the like disconnect between the two chats. <laughs> oh man. But I guess it makes sense. Like I buy as a Twitch streamer. And I'm primarily a YouTube streamer. So it makes sense. I'll be right back. I hear my daughter knocking on the door. All right, I'm back. So yeah, YouTube poll said 54% Scarecrow, 45% iBuy, but the Twitch poll... The Twitch poll says... 74% iBuy, 26% Scarecrow. And like I said, that's a wild disconnect between YouTube and Twitch. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy, the difference in numbers there. 
five and a four. Small males galore. Beautiful. Maybe Funky Monkey, maybe. See? We'll see. See how the dice roll? How the cards land? Definitely, Nate, definitely. Oh, really, JC? Love to see it. What is an easy rare for my first one? I have SRP, Leighton, and Hirschfelden. Honestly, dude. If you just want to get any rare of any kind, just shoot literally everything you see. Just shoot everything in sight. Because with rares, the more stuff you're shooting, the more respawns you'll get, which means more chances at getting a rare. So just shoot everything in sight on whatever map is your favorite. That could be platinum. You never know. I'm not going to go back for it at this point, Tom. Favorite gun, the 308 AR. Hey, I've tried before, Slippy. I've tried passing on my luck. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I got the bear axe. Dude, that guy gets so many bears so fast. His bear grinds were a breeze compared to mine. What's up, Tony? How's it going, Tony? Hope you're doing good. <laughs> yeah, Zachy. <laughs> Any rares yet? Yeah, we got a blonde bear. We got a level five blonde earlier. Four, six, five, seven. Okay. Holy crap, so many bears. How many kills am I into the grind? 358 currently. You know how many bear kills I'd probably get in a day if I grinded like eight hours a stream like I used to? I'd be getting so many bears. We'd be killing like 400 to 500 bears a day. It'd be insane. Now we need an eight and nine for sure, Johnny, for sure. Uh, you were never banned, FMC. Remember you redeemed a timeout earlier. If only you had no life. Yeah, I know, you know. Turns out, having a toddler takes up a lot of your time. What's my dream hunt IRL? A New Zealand red deer hunt. Easily. 
Rate one pizza number 95 just spawned. <laughs> oh my gosh, Blue. That's got to be the most obscure, like, great one joke I've seen ever. <laughs> yes, the terrible twos are a wild phase, Metal Man. Like, right now, it's just a few months away from Aaliyah being three years old, right? And, like, the terrible twos have been literally the most up and down phase ever. Like, people aren't wrong when they say the terrible twos can be one of the toughest time periods for raising a child. Like, it can be rough because they don't want to listen. They just want to do whatever they want. But at the same time, they're also at that age where they're learning a lot. Like, they are learning a lot about, like, communication. They're learning to, like, you know, have full conversations with you and stuff. And so it can be like the most magical time and create like so many memories. But at the same time, it can be quite tough. And there's some days where you're like, ah, I don't know what to do. But I wouldn't trade it for anything, man. What's my favorite great one? The moose, for sure. Exactly, Metal Man. Exactly. Boom. <laughs> never, Cooper, never. I have all typical whitetail. I'd love to get one of those someday, but hard to say if we ever will. Later, Steelers. Thank you for dropping in. Do I like blonde or cinnamon better? I like the cinnamon better, even though blonde is more rare. I do prefer the cinnamon. I think they look really good. Oh, that was from a great one we killed a couple months ago, Andy. One of our great one bears had a feed zone up there, so that's why the tent's up there. And I haven't needed it for any of my zones, so I've just left it there. I could repurpose it to a zone, but like, eh, whatever, we haven't needed it. Why are you fleeing, bro? Are the mountain lions bugging you again? Uh, not too long, Harrison. We are 361 kills into it as of now. What's my favorite map? My favorite map is Emerald Coast. Oh my gosh, that would be so good, Cooper. I would love rares for every single great one. It'd be so, so good. How many bears have we manslaughtered so far tonight? <laughs> oh, we've killed over 100 bears. I know that. I think it's been over a hundred easily. I don't remember the exact number we started at, but we're at 361 right now. Does anybody remember what number I said like towards the beginning of the stream? Yes, that'd be awesome, Johnny. That would be nice. I'm sure they'll get there at some point. I think it's just going to take them a bit of time. I'm just happy they're consistently adding more. Because it is really helping Way of the Hunter, like, feel a lot more complete. Later, Vikings. Thank you for dropping in. What's my favorite diamond? My favorite diamond has to be either the Rusa or Red Deer. Both of them look really good. It's 
657. Ooh, that was probably a spine shot. Ouch. I prefer the old or new recoil in Call of the Wild. What do you mean by old or new recoil? I didn't think they ever changed it. Rares and Way of the Hunter are still too common. Yeah, I've, I've heard a lot of people say that. I'm hoping they'll make them more rare at some point. Although, something that I have figured out just from playing, right, and from talking with other people that do Way of the Hunter, it seems like it's primarily the female rares that spawn too often. Like, the males are still decently hard to get. Like, for example, with uh, Cape Buffalo, there's a lot more... Uh, there's a lot more female albinos than male ones, from what I've seen. I like both, but I would take Call of the Wild over Way of the Hunter, Brody. Just because it's more complete as of now. Obviously, because the game's been out for a lot longer. I got a feeling Way of the Hunter will do quite well in the future, though. I feel like they will be one of those games that over time will get more and more popular and because they're adding more and more good stuff to the game. But I think eventually it will be a pretty amazing game to go with. Yeah, Anne's Grandma. I think that's definitely like a, a thing with that game. I feel like female rares are way more common than males. Levi, thank you for the super sticker, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing, man. Who made Way of the Hunter? Uh, Nine Rocks Games. Nine Rocks Games made uh, Way of the Hunter. And then it's published by THQ Nordic. Oh, got you, Johnny. Got you, Johnny. Yeah, recoil management does help with recoil a ton. It's a pretty big game changer. Like, it's insane. Yeah, like the perk, it, it, it it's crazy. Right, where is it? Right here. Recoil management. Level 3 recoil management really, like, it's a drastic decrease in recoil. It is like a necessity if you're a grinder. Later, Levi. Thank you for dropping in. Later, Ryder. And later, Platinum. Thank you for dropping in. Your necessity. <laughs> yes, nice man. I can see your chat. Tickamoon is pretty cool. Like, Tickamoon Plains is an awesome map. I do really like Tickamoon Plains. Dude, so many small bears. What's going on? Oh! What the? I thought that was the four. I thought it just ran over fast. That's a nine. Holy crap, there's a nine. Let's freaking go, guys. That's awesome. We finally got another nine. Oh, 
Oh no, Caitlin, are you shooting bears again? The doctor said to ease off on the bear smoking. It's uh, it's it's getting to your lungs. You gotta chill. Too many smoked bears in the vicinity. And ah, uh, uh, I don't even want to look at it. Ew, ew, trolls. Ugh. Uh, yes, Lucas, we are using HM. It's hard to quit. I know. I mean, look at me. I'm doing it too. It is. It's tough to quit. It's tough to quit smoking the bears. But sometimes the doctor's just like, man, you got to chill out on this bear smoking, man. You don't know what's been on their fur. Do I recommend having a kid? I mean, I can tell you something right now. Back when I was a teenager, I really didn't want to have a kid. Like, when I was a teenager, it wasn't even something that I ever thought that I'd be capable of, like, doing, right? But I can tell you right now, it's probably the greatest decision I've ever made in my entire life. Because it has provided more, like, memories and amazing moments, and it, it really is a f it's, it's just unlike anything else in the entire world. Like, having a child changes your entire perspective on life. It really does. But I can tell you one thing right now. Make sure that you're with somebody that you would never want to be separated from. You have to make sure it's the one before you recommend ha before you have a kid, right? But I can tell you, it's one of the most magical things in life. It really is. As someone her who for years like when I was a when I was a teenager didn't really ever feel like I would ever want to have a kid, like I can tell you right now. When you find the one, your mind is changed. That's how it was for me, at least. My mind was changed the second I found the one. Come on, bears. Where are you? I got a 300 Magnum for you. Nothing there. Okay. 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 How do you upgrade a baby to an adult fast? Uh, you sleep for a very long time, and then when you wake up, they're an adult. There you go. Uh, yes, Brody, I do. Yeah, anti. <laughs> uh, I best traveled to the wrong thing, man. I'm all over the place. What am I even doing? Yes, I have played with Didi before. I've got one video on the channel with him. Nothing. You haven't really heard too much from DD recently, Metal Man. But I mean, I mean, he's probably just doing what DD always does. He's just doing his own thing, having fun with the game, and posting whatever he wants to post. <laughs> Maitland forever. <laughs> yes, Metal Man. Yes, we need a hashtag for that. Two more bears down. 372 on the grind. Oh, you actually do have that command? That's that's hilarious, Caitlin. Yeah, I've noticed the same thing, Johnny. Like, a lot of the Hunter YouTubers just do everything solo. Like, they don't really collab much. And then there's me, man. Like, I, I, I'd love to do a ton of different collabs with people, but so many people are just, like, not really into it.
Is it weird that I got two Mellows and an Albino before a Piebald with the Red Deer? Nah, it's just luck, Jacqueline. That's just, that's just luck. You got really good luck with it. I mean, I've had grinds where I got a great one before getting a single rare. Like, sometimes the luck just plays into your favor. <laughs> yeah, Slippy. Uh, yes, I've done a couple vids with Flinter, and I think we've done like two or three streams as well. Yeah, Michaela. <laughs> I feel like every Call of the Wild content creator knows other creators. Who all do you know? I mean, a lot of us chat from time to time, right? Because we want to know, like, the perspective of everybody else that's in the same, like, um, the same, like, genre as us, right? So like a lot of us do talk to each other, whether it's to see to be like, so how's your videos been performing this month? Because mine are like performing this way and this way, or like, uh, what have you have you got any good trophies recently? Or you know, how's how's the fam been? You know, like we talk to each other sometimes. A lot of the times, like YouTubers usually talk to each other about like YouTube stuff, though. In pretty much every genre that you could think of in YouTube. Like, usually when I talk to other YouTubers, it's like, uh... It's usually something to the extent of... Hey, have you noticed this, uh, this bug recently? Or, like, did you see this crazy 28 kill great one I got? Or, hey, have your, have your videos been doing good recently? Because mine have been, you know, doing pretty bad. Or, like, mine have been doing really good. Have yours been doing good, too? Like... A lot of times YouTubers will bounce those types of things off of each other to see if like other people in the same genre are experiencing the, th the same things, you know? And obviously that's for the ones that aren't like uh, super close friends what or whatever, you know? Like, obviously, if I'm talking to somebody like Brobra, who also does YouTube, like, Brobra's a super close friend of mine, so... We talk about a million other things aside from that. I guess it all depends on, like... Oh, that's a freaking three, bro. A three and a seven. And a seven. And a seven. <laughs> it's a seven, seven, seven. Lucky number sevens. Let's go. That's got to be a good omen for something, man. Three sevens. I couldn't kill the other one though because these stupid mountain lions. I'm gonna murder them all. <laughs> stupid mountain lions. Nobody likes you. <laughs> yeah, triple sevens, Johnny, for real. There's two of our sevens. I wish we could have killed the third one. That would have been great. Uh, yes, Jacqueline. It's just very... It's very rare. They are a possibility on console. It's just very, very rare. But well, you got a super rare mountain lion, Kenton. That's insane, dude. That's such a tough super rare to get. Like, that is such a tough super rare to get. Have I ever shot a diamond albino moose? Sadly, no, I haven't. 
I've never got that. Sadly. I wish I had, man. I wish I had gotten one. Level six. I know Flinter got a diamond albino moose a long time ago. You got a Mela though? I did get the diamond Mela. Oh, that's true. I did get the diamond Mela, man. Doing a fallow deer great one grind. Do you have any tips? Um, I've got an entire guide focused around fallow deer, uh, great one grinding. If you're interested in that, it should have like everything you'd ever want to know. If somebody on Twitch could do the exclamation point YouTube command. That'll bring up the YouTube channel so that you can check out the guides and stuff. It should be in the guides playlist or the herd management guides playlist. Thank you, Montucky. Appreciate that. Thank you for dropping that in there. How many great one bears do I have? Currently, I've got five of them. Maybe I should main menu. Got any rares yet? Yes, we've got one rare on the day. A blonde level five. We have the hunters bugging right now. Oh no, what's happening, dude? What's it doing? Do a little time reset, I guess. You have to find all the drinking zones to get a great one without HM. No, you don't have to if you're not doing HM. The only reason you find all of them with HM is because you want to be able to manage down like the proper amount of your uh of your animals. To be able to get the desired level of HM, right? Like, if you're not herd managing, it doesn't matter how many you find. Like, as long as you're shooting... As long as you're shooting males from that species, you got a chance at getting a great one. But with herd management, like, the reason you find all the zones is because it's based on, like, the percentage of the map that you've managed down, so... If you're missing some zones, then you're going to be missing out on, like, some zones that you could be managing down. I already did FMC. Nothing there. Can't seem to get a grasp on Whale Hunter, just don't know how to find animals and find their blood trails. Okay, so I would recommend, Gavin, if you're having issues finding blood trails, play on the lowest difficulty on Way of the Hunter. Because I, I personally play on the lowest difficulty because it's just the most fun in my personal opinion. And also, I, I make content on it, so I, I like to be able to get close to the animals and get good footage, but... The lowest difficulty, like, highlights the blood tracks much more nicely than any of the others do for Way of the Hunter. So, if you're having trouble with the blood trails, do the lowest difficulty they allow. Because it is a lot better, man. Like, it's a lot less frustrating for, like, following blood trails. Can I get in, please? There we go. Three hundred and eighty one kills, man. 
Got an albino diamond bantang. KR, that is a crazy rare. I mean, I don't know if it's crazy enough to repeat it four times in the last 10 messages in chat, but that's a crazy rare. Congrats. Three oh three for Fallow, eh, Johnny? I mean, three oh three is not bad for them. I have used it on them, and it's definitely not bad. It can be quite good for them. Where did this guy go? There he is. See, I would use the M1 more for Fallow Deer, but I don't like the recoil on it. Like, it doesn't have much recoil, right? But it, it the recoil is different than the 308. Like the like your screen doesn't move, it's just the scope bounces up with the M1. But with the 308, like the entire screen moves, so it's easier to compensate. At least to me, it's easier to compensate. Like, the two guns have very different recoil, and it's, it's like, it, it throws me off. Where did the level six go? Come on, Popper, show me the way. Alright, he found something. Okay, it didn't die, so that's a waste of time even, like, going for it. 308 Bolt underrated. I do like the 308 Bolt. That's one of my favorite guns to just, like, mess around with in multiplayer. It is a fun gun, and it sounds good, too. Nice, Slippy, nice. Oh! Why are you all low levels? Why are you all low levels? They're all tiny, man. Um, I'm married, Sklem. Echoes 30 out of 6 underrated. It definitely is. It definitely is. Hence the, today's video. I definitely do think it is. Why don't I use the Hunter Mate? Because there's really no reason to in a grind. Like, there's no reason for me to use this. When I'm just bouncing between like these lakes right here. What's my go to gas station snack? Oh man. Let me think. What do I normally go for? I don't usually like eating gas station food because, like, who knows how long it's been sitting there, right? But. If I go to a gas station and I get a snack, it's usually like a bag of chips or something, right? A bag of chips, a bag of jerky. I don't really get too much of the, like, gas station, like, deli food or whatever. Like, I don't get much of the food under, like, the hot pad or whatever. Because, uh, I've heard too many stories about people getting, like, food poisoning from it, so. However... The gas station that, I, like, near where I grew up was actually pretty good. Like, they didn't, uh, like, they, they made sure that the stuff wasn't going to make you sick, right? So, I used to eat that as a kid. They used to have these, like, barbecue beef burritos, and oh my gosh, those were incredible. So, I'd say that's got to be my favorite gas station food. It's like a, a barbecue beef burrito. Holy crap. They were so good. But, like, you gotta be careful with gas station food, man. Like, some of it just is not going to end well. <laughs> some of it just won't end well. 
What's my go-to snack? Oh, gosh. That's another tough question because there's so many snacks out there, man. I mean, it's got to be either some type of beef, beef jerky or kettle chips. Kettle chips are so good. And they're like, believe it or not, kettle chips are healthier for you than like regular like Lay's chips or something. The, ke the kettle brand chips are probably my one of my favorite snacks ever. And they have such a good variety of flavors that are all incredible. It's got to be my favorite snack. Like, kettle chips are incredible. More specifically, the kettle chips honey mustard. Or the kettle chips uh, pepperoncini flavor. Like, those are both so good. <laughs> They're so good. Why? <sighs> Why are the mountain lions always here? It's not even their drink time. Call the Wild, explain to me why they're here at 2314. How does that make any sense, man? Why are they here? That makes no sense to me. Why are they there? Ooh, Dots pretzels are really good. Uh, the 303 is a good gun, man. I do like the 303. 303 British is a solid 4 8 rifle. I've never heard of Bucky's, uh, Nate, uh, Logan. I've, I don't think we have those in Oregon. Because Oregon's got very different... Like places than other states would. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. <laughs> Sounds about right. It's going good, FMC. My day has been really good. Hey, legendary berry, let's go. Love to see it. Been a bit since we've seen a nine. That's nice. Too bad the last one trolled. Please don't let this one troll. Yep, go ducks for real. Hey, Max score, let's go! Woo! Been a bit since I've seen a Max score bear. Let's freaking go, man. <laughs> oh, that's great. Let's add that to the diamond counter. I knew you would say something about it, Caitlin. <laughs> Legendary Barry Let's Go. Famous words of Scarecrow. You know it. Legendary Barry Let's Go. Oh, man. That's crazy. Mythical on the other side. Love to see it. Three hundred and eighty-eight kills. Should have trolled. Have the same estimate as last time? It did. It did. Caitlin now hits you more. Oh, I know it, Johnny. I know it. Means you're getting close to the great one? Maybe. Why don't I tax the diamond bears? Because I've already taxed about 20 max score bears from RHM grinds. Like, since bears all look the same, after you've taxed, like, 10 max scores, 20 max scores, like, what is there left to be, like, unique about them? <laughs> I'm sorry, Caitlin. I'm just saying. Like, I got... I, 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 I don't need any more Maxway Bears. I'd send them over to you if I could. A five. Lovely. Well, you're halfway to Fabled. You silly bear. You think a Valentine's gun wrap pack will come? Ooh, that's a good point. I think that's a possibility, yeah. I think that's a very high possibility. A Valentine's Day pack would actually be really cool. 
Then I can shoot and murder these poor innocent animals with a gun that has hearts on it. So they know that it's with love. What's up, Ian? What's up, Triss? You got a crown, Wildebeest? Nice, nice. Do I hunt IRL? Uh, yes, I do. I do hunt IRL, but I haven't in quite a while. Uh, actually, it's fine, Caitlin. It's fine. Um, I know it's probably getting confusing because I have, like, the two YouTube channels and Twitch where, like, the rules are different on every single platform. I, I allow mild curse words in chat. Like, there's no F-bombs, right? Like, as long as it's, like, not an F- an F-bomb or something, then I'm- I'm not too worried about it. Why a bear great one? Because this is gonna be our 69th great one. And getting a fabled chestnut bear or a fabled cream bear would just be too perfect. You know, it just, the joke writes itself. It'd be amazing. What the flip? Yep, ex exactly, Static. <laughs> do I tax all rares? Yes, I do tax all rares. Gonna be a spotted bear. <sighs> I mean, I'm sure I could make a joke out of that too. Just might take a little more imagination. The spirit of 69 could work. <laughs> oh man. Nothing over there. Wow. Wow. Five. We're now at 394 kills, by the way. <laughs> yup, static indeed. <laughs> oh man. What's up, turtle? How you doing, dude? Hope you're doing good. Oh my gosh, if I get the bear at 420 kills, that'd be the most perfect thing ever. 69 69th great one at 420. <laughs> All the funny numbers in one been nothing over here recently what's going on man they've been hiding from me exactly nuggets that's the hope that's the hope man i remember when i sucked at the game and was just happy to get a kill dude me too man me too i remember when this game first released like and i first started playing it i was pretty bad at the game I did not know what I was doing at all. Oh, geez, Brian. I've had that happen before. I mean, you guys didn't hear from me, but I got tricked by some rocks back in the day where I thought some rocks were albino deer, so. But, you know, as far as you guys are concerned, that didn't happen. Did not happen, no. No.
That's the same for me pretty much, Jenna. Although, I learned from my brother Johnny that diamonds were a thing in Call of the Wild. He was telling me like, yeah, yeah, watch some Flinter videos. He'll tell, you'll learn about them and stuff. And then I learned about diamonds. And I was like, oh my gosh, this game has more than I thought it did. Ben, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. How long will my stream be? I'm not sure. Not sure. My bears are being weird right now, so who knows. Nothing again, man. My bears are being late to their zones. Hate to see it. No, we're not going to be doing angler after this. Angler is a Tuesday thing for me. Mythical? Okay. Oh, dude, what the... Why are you spooked, bro? The world's not that scary, man. You don't gotta run, I promise. We got him. Let's go. Three down. What's my favorite candy? I don't really eat candy that often. But when I do... Uh, I'd say... Butterfingers and... Reese's Fast Break is probably two of my favorite candy bars. And Twix. And Kit Kat. Like, those, those four are always going to be my favorites. But I really don't eat much candy. Candy is like a once every three months thing for me. What are these other tracks right here? Oh, big boy. Big boy bear. Did I shoot this one or no? I don't think this is the one I shot. I think I already claimed all of them. So I missed out on another max weight estimate. What am I doing, man? I'm missing all the goodies. Oh, definitely, Johnny. It's really good for sure. Not really, Jack Queen. I don't really, uh... I used to when I was a kid, because my dad watched it, but... I haven't watched it in a very long time. R.I.P. Level 3. BNT Gaming, thank you so much for the super chat. Just shot a gallon from 318 yards with the 454. Let's go, dude. Wait, gallons. I'm assuming that you mean diamonds, right? I'm assuming that's supposed to say diamonds. That's awesome, dude. Oh, same, Johnny. I would love it. What's up, Quaid? Uh, you can change it in the settings. You can change track color in the settings. Dude, I haven't seen a bear here in so long. What's up with that? Our bears, they're just not going to this lake anymore. They're being little weirdos. Not wanting to show up. 
What's up with this? I haven't seen a bear here in so long. We need kangaroo collars. How would you even like call in a kangaroo? Like, is that even a thing in real? I don't think that's even a thing in real life. I've never heard of a kangaroo collar, so I don't think they'd add one. Well, that's the thing, Zachy. Like, I'm not even seeing like, I'm not seeing them in other places either. Like, there's just not many bears popping up right now. Usually when this happens, it means we have a great one close. I mean, obviously there's times where that's not the case, but... It sure feels like those times where we just have a bunch of moose, like, disappear. Mmm, no, I don't really have them bounce to exteriors anymore, Zaki. Like, uh, they stopped going here completely. And it's like once every 20 or 30 runs that I get one down here. So, like, they should just be in these five. But, like, I'm, I'm noticing, like, three or four of them missing. There's a bear. There's a five. But it's just one bear. They're being weird for sure. Real weird. 399 kills on the grind now. Yeah, great one is coming. Maybe. I really hope so. I'd love to have another sub 500 kill grind, but I just don't believe that it'll happen. It's too good to be true. Wonder exactly how great ones work and what gets them to spawn and if it affects other animals before or after they spawn. Yeah, I wonder too, man. Like, I think at this point we've seen that it definitely feels like herd management helps to an extent but then like it comes down to why does it help you know like what causes it to feel like it helps more is it because we're killing so many big animals or is it because the average score of the animals on the map is lowered so much that it's trying to compensate like what's the reasoning hey legendary let's go we got another legendary Finally, something good. We're at 401 kills now, by the way. 401. Yeah, Funky, for sure. Like, that's happened to me before, too. Which is why I'm thinking, maybe... Ooh, diamond, 2313. That's our 13th diamond of the grind in 401 kills. Love to see it. What do we got down here, though? If I could click right. To be honest, it's barely any nines compared to the last couple grinds, uh, Zaki. Nothing there. Watch it actually be a chestnut. That'd be incredible, man. I'd be so happy. <laughs> An eight. That must have been the one that we missed last time. Oh, he moved. I did not mean to reload there, if you couldn't tell. Another eight. Wow. Just big nails all over. We need a great one mule deer? I agree, KR Gaming, I agree. Twenty-two oh two. 
Yeah, but it's not even a frequent amount for me, Zachy. That's the thing. Like, we've had grinds that I got way more diamonds. Yeah, maybe Funky. We'll check, uh, we'll check this lake or these two lakes down here. That's really the only places that I get bears now in like the, the like off runs. This is really the only places they bounce to. And it's usually just one of them. Yeah, like sometimes it feels like it just doesn't hinder things at all, Caitlin. I, I've definitely seen the same thing. I mean, I had, I stacked four whitetail on the map at once and I didn't see any like decrease in the, or I didn't see like any increase in the amount of kills to get those like following great ones after the first one. But I think like having big stuff on the map affects the spawns to an extent, but I definitely think you can still get giant stuff. No, no, that's not even what I'm talking about, Zach. I'm not talking about the levels. I'm talking about the fact that I'm having less bears. Like, less bears are showing up is what I'm talking about. Like, I just feel like there's less bears popping up. In the last, like, three or four runs. Not their levels, just, like, less in general. Nothing down here, though. It might just be, like, weird spawns. Hey, Ridge the Man, you missed a blonde level 5 as well as a few diamonds. What's the average kill count for Great One Fallow Deer? Between 500 and 1500 would be average from what I've seen. Oh, hey, there they are, and there's a 9. Okay, so we got four bears there. And five. Okay, there we go. There's our bears. And we got some big boys too. I don't know if I'll even be able to get all of them. Well, he's gone. Okay, we got four of them. Not exactly what I hoped for. I thought we'd get all, or I hoped we'd get all of them. But it is what it is. It is what it is, man. Can't win them all. 2360, let's go, that's a dime. Diamond number 14 of the grind. What's up, Pain Hud? How's it going? Let's go, Amira. That's awesome. If I'm getting rares and dimes in my Fallow Grind, does that mean my grind is working? I have no clue. I mean... Like, what do you even mean by, is your grind working? If you're getting diamonds and rares, you know, that's like, that's good. If you're talking about, is your herd management working? That's more based on like how many kills it takes to get a diamond on average. Like, like what your diamond ratio is. Like if you're getting a diamond every 30 kills, then your herd management is pretty good. If it's less than that, then you still need to manage down a little, a little bit more, you know? Unfortunately, that's one of those questions that's tough to answer because like I have no details about like what your grind is like and what you're doing on your grind and stuff like that. Hedrix, thank you so much for the super chat. You should do a seven day mule deer hunt. Oh, that would actually be really fun. I actually would really like that, I think. That's a possibility for sure. I'll definitely think about it. All right, let's go get this guy. Thank you for the super chat once again, though, uh, Kidrix.
Uh, BNT Gaming, thank you for the super chat as well. Are you shooting female bears or only male bears? Right now, only males. But that's only because I've shot all the females out of this area. I shot the female bears in all my favorite zones, like all of these areas right here, until they move to different spots. I got a lot of them to move like here and like to over here. And so now there's no females in these top four lakes. Uh, there's a few down here, but I just don't shoot them. So yeah, I would shoot all the females out of your favorite zones until they go to other places. And then after that, don't shoot them anymore, you know? How many great one bears do I have? I currently have five of them. But I'm still missing two of the fur types. What's my next dream great one that I don't have? Fabled Birch Typical Rack Moose is my, my dream great one to have that I don't currently have. And also Typical Rack Great One Whitetail. Hudson, thank you for the super chat as well, man. Love you, bro. Hey, love you too, man. Thank you for the support. Appreciate it as always. Without you guys, Scarecrow would be nothing but a, a YouTube channel that posts videos for fun. But because of you guys, I get to do this for a living. I really do appreciate it. Without you guys, I'm literally nothing. What is the max score for Fallow? I'm not 100% sure what the max that people have found is. I'm pretty sure you can get like a 271 or close to a 271 for diamonds. But I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm sure somebody in chat could uh, have a more clear answer. Chat always knows. Got him. Don't I have a 271? No, I have a 270. I have a 270 point something. No, 275s don't exist anymore. They got rid of those. I'm not counting the old scores for Fallow. Those, they can't get that big anymore. Oh, ah, yes, it's, oh my gosh. 275 and 276 does not happen for Fallow anymore. It, I think the biggest I've ever heard of is like 271 point something. Hey, Carl, I think level 8 bears are possible, or level 8 dime bears are possible because I got a mythical bear that scored 2270. Oh yeah, I, I know about that, Miles. I heard you say that to either Caitlyn or Nate the other day. We've known that it's possible. Um, it's just like very tough because Jaxie Beard, Jaxie Beard said on one of the live streams for EW that every single animal in the game has a chance to make diamond one level below the max, but for some it's so rare that it's never happened. I think bears are one of those ones where it's never happened, but it's possible. So like it's definitely a chance that it could end up happening one of these days. Because that's pretty crazy that you got that close. Like, that is a ridiculous score for a mythical. That is a pretty crazy one. Jaxie Bear. Oh, yeah. Jaxie Bear for real. Already done it, uh, Doge. What do I do when I accidentally mess up my great one grind? Well, what do you mean by mess up your great one grind, SP? Like, there's so many things that could mean. I'm not even sure, like, what type of messed up you mean. Nice, Anthony. Nice. You had a 2268 mythical yesterday. I think I've had a couple of those as well, Funky. 
I think that's probably the highest scoring mythical I've ever killed is around that range. Nice, Jameson. How many kills? 416 currently. Do I have a dog in real life? Yes, we have a German Shepherd. Alright everybody, I think that's going to be it for today. 416 kills into the grind with 14 diamonds and one rare. We did pretty good today, got a good amount of diamonds, got that rare blonde. It's crazy to think that we're almost to 420 kills. But hopefully we'll get our great one soon. Thank you all for watching. It's only two days away from the uh, Way of the Hunter brand new map popping out, so... Expect some content on that whenever that drops. Um, might do a Call of the Wild video tomorrow. We'll see. Not 100% sure yet. But I appreciate you guys for dropping by. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.